Hello and welcome back to another session, Types of Mortgages. There are many types of mortgages in the market. These are designed to suit various requirements of the borrowers, including the length of the mortgage, capability to, uh, for the initial payment, and the other financial obligations. The products can be broadly classified in based on the features, like there are types of the mortgages which are based on the guarantee, who is giving the guarantee and what level of guarantee is given by those corporations, what are the different type of interest rates on a loan product, and what are the different special types of mortgages. Let's learn quickly about uh, what are the different type of mortgages based on the guarantee. First one is um, uh, government loans and the conventional loans. In the conventional loans, you would see non-confirming and confirming. In the government loans, you would see veteran affairs, federal housing administration, rural housing services. Again, in non-confirming conventional loans, so you have jumbo loans, you have subprime loans, and you have alternative A loans. All right, let's learn about uh, the government loans. These are the loans either guaranteed or insured by the Federal Housing Administration, which is FHA, which is part of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The Veteran Administration, VA, and the Rural Housing Services, RHS, which is a branch of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. These agencies do not typically originate the loans, except for the low income and other specific borrowers directly, but guarantee or insure the loans originated by others uh, provided they meet their underwriting norms. The financial requirements for FHA loans, which is this, Federal Housing Administration loans, are relaxed and compared to the traditional, com traditional commercial loans. So an individual with an adverse credit limit and uh, who is not eligible for a prime mortgage could be eligible for a FHA loan. Also, the interest rates charged on an FHA loan are lower than those of the conventional loans. Then VA loans, that is Veteran Affairs loans, are designed for qualified veterans and offer more relaxed standards for the qualification than either FHA loans or the traditional loans. For example, in uh, 2002, the loans can be uh, for amounts up to $240,000 $40,000 and requires no down payments. RHS, Rural Housing Services. They offer both guaranteed loans uh, through approved lenders and direct loans that are government funded. These are offered to low income families living in the rural areas or small towns for the purchase, construction or repairing homes. All right, let's learn about uh, the confirming and non-confirming loans, which are conventional loans. Confirming loans, these loans uh, with the loan size limitations, uh, amortization periods, and the underwriting guidelines set by the Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae in the secondary market. Confirming loans may be sold to the Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae, which are government-sponsored entities, basically, which in turn securitize, package, and seal these loans to investors in the secondary market. We're going to learn about what is this loan securitization, packaging of the, uh, the loan portfolios and all in the later sessions. So what is non-confirming loans? So these loans are not eligible for purchase by the government sport sponsored entities like uh, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, but can be sold in the secondary market as the old loans or can be pooled, securitized and sold as a private label mortgage-backed securities. Non-confirming loans comprise of jumbo loans, subprime loans, and the Alte loans. What is Alte loans? Alte mortgage loan is provided to the borrowers who have good job stability, good income, but their credit scores don't fit the A credit guidelines. This could either be due to a short credit history or due to a slight derogatory hit on the credit score, such as a 30-day late payment. In that case, what all the, you might be wondering, what all the target market for all day? So basically, they are the st strong credit quality with a non-standard needs. For example, limited documentation. So you don't have to do much documentation in all day loans. And uh, the people with a uh, self-employment and uh, which are which are who wants to process the loan on a uh, quickly basis. That means like need for process efficiency. These are the different target market for the all day loans.
And what are the different typical guidelines? Your credit score or the FICO score should be like, you know, 680 plus. So higher the FICO required for the increased LTV levels. And uh, maximum LTV, like, you know, loan to value ratio should be like, you know, 75% to 90% range. Over 80% requires private mortgage insurance. Credit history, no mortgage late payments, no notice of default, no foreclosures in the first 26 months. Overall excellent credit history. Maximum debt ratio, I will talk about that again. So it should be like, you know, 38% to 45% range. Documentation, the documentation should be enough for like, you know, providing what is a stated income and there is no ratio. Strong compensatory factors for the non-standard features, like, you know, if you are any one of the standard feature is lax in terms of, uh, uh, you know, approving the loan, then they can look for any other compensatory factors. So sample pool profile would look like, you know, there would be a FICO of 730, FICO, Fair Isaac uh, Company credit score, which is 730 as an example and your loan to value ratio is 70 percent and what are the different document types you won't be required for the all day is like you know stated income is like 70 percent no ratio is 15 percent and uh, uh, nina is again 10 percent i'm going to explain all of these things in the later session again and full doc is only five percent owner occupied is 90 percent and purchase in the rate term free finance is 75 percent so these are some of the uh, examples uh, where uh, someone who wants to go for an Alte loan uh, would be having, uh, you know, different uh, characteristics. All right, so what are the subprime loans? Subprime loans are loans given to the borrowers with a poor credit history whose uh, credit characteristics do not meet the requirements of the Fannie Mae and the Freddie Mac. These loans typically have higher down payment and higher interest rate. These are really the risky loans, you know. The bank has to take a lot of risk in terms of providing the subprime license, you know, um, subprime loans. Target market. So borrowers with a blemished credit history who do not have a good credit score, which should be like, you know, your credit score if it is less than 680 or 630, they all belong to subprime market. What are the typical guidelines in subprime? Credit quality ranges from B to D as defined by the lender. It's again defined by the lender. FICO down to 500 or below, so it can be less than 500 also, your credit score. And FICO drives the credit grade. FICO actually, they are the one who analyze the credit score. Credit history allows for the major derogatory credit. Numerous mortgages and major credit late means there are so many late payments in their history of the payment. Some credit grades may allow recent bankruptcy, notice of default and foreclosures. So uh, the borrower might have gone through, uh, you know, bankruptcy or, you know, bankruptcy or foreclosures in the history of the payment. And uh, the debt ratio can be higher, but it cannot uh, go beyond 55%. Maximum LTV uh, is basically depending on the what credit grade the borrower is really looking for or is really having and documentation, whether it's a full documentation. I mean, as actually, you know, the in order to safeguard himself, right, the lender, he would do the full documentation for the subprime uh, borrower. So a sample pool profile would look like, you know, the FICO is 600, LTV is 80% and uh, Document types are like, you know, full or alternative document 75%, stated income 25%, and owner occupied is 95%. So you, owner has to occupy that particular, uh, you know, uh, residence or a home. All right, so let's learn about uh, jumbo loans. What are the jumbo loans? Jumbo loans are the loans in which the loan amount is above the limit set by the Freddie Mac and the Fannie Mae. This limit changes annually based on the single family home price survey done by the Federal Housing Finance Board. For example, in 2002, a confirming loan limit was $300,700. So loans that are above that limit are called as the jumbo loans. Jumbo loans have the interest rates higher by about 0.25% to 0.50% than the conventional loans. All right. So we learned about uh, what are the different type of mortgages based on the guarantee given by the government sponsored enterprises like Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. 
All right, let's learn about uh, what all the different type of mortgages are there based on the interest rate. So uh, the first one is fixed rate mortgage. Um, this, this kind of mortgage comes with an interest rate that will never change over the entire life of the loan, irrespective of changes in the market rates and the economic trends. However, there could be a change in the property tax and any insurance payments included in the monthly payment. The term of the fixed rate mortgage is usually like, you know, 15, 20 or 30 years. So uh, this is how a fixed rate mortgage would look like, you know, uh, I just given an example, like, you know, fixed 40 due in 30. So um, this is one of the fixed rate mortgage as an example. Next one is adjustable rate mortgage or ARM. An adjustable rate mortgage has an interest rate that changes based on changing the market rates and the economic trends. ARMs usually have an initial period of time during which the rate won't change. For example, the interest rates for the ARMs can be tied to one-year U.S. Treasury bills, rates on the certificates or deposits, the London Interbank Offer Rate, LIBOR, or COPY, or other indexes. So I will talk about all these things in the later sessions let's learn about like you know how these adjustable rate mortgages adjustable rate mortgages just work for now and the third thing is the hybrid loans hybrid loans combine uh, the features of a fixed rate mortgage that is frm and an adjustable rate mortgage that is arm the hybrid loans interest rate and monthly payments are uh, fixed over a specified period of time beyond which the loan will convert into and stay as an arm for the remainder of the term the initial rate may be fixed for 3 to 5 or 7 or even 10 years beyond which the arm takes over. The arm adjusts every 6 to 12 months. The longer the initial rate stays fixed, the higher will be the rate. But the initial rate of a hybrid loan is usually lower than that of a 30-year FRM. The initial interest rate will be higher than an IRM since the rate remains fixed for much longer than that of a normal arm. A normal adjustable rate mortgage would offer a fixed rate for say 6 to 12 months. So that's all about uh, uh, hybrid loans. What are the balloon mortgages? A balloon mortgage offers an initial fixed interest rate for the 5 to 7 years and then requires a balloon payment. Basically, like you know, so they would provide you the less interest rate in initial 5 or 10 years and later the banks would expect a huge payment from the borrower. The balloon payment is the final payments of the loan and pays off the entire balance. Basically, so if we have any plan, like you know, after 10 years, your, increase, your, your uh, income is going to become tenfold or 15-fold. Uh, uh, if you're sure about those kind of things, uh, then you can have this balloon loan where you would pay the less interest in the beginning uh, and you would uh, uh, pay off the entire, uh, uh, you know, the loan amount uh, later at one shot. What are the graduated uh, payment uh, mortgages? So a graduated payment mortgage would have a fixed interest rate with a monthly payments that uh, you know gradually increase by predetermined amounts uh, during the early years of the loan and uh, then level of uh, say after five years. A GPM would be useful for the borrowers who expect their incomes to increase significantly over a period of time, you know, uh, or a gradual period of time. So if borrower thinks like, you know, so his income is going to increase, uh, then graduated payment mortgage loans are the best bet for those kind of borrowers. However, GPMs carry the risk of having the loan principal to actually increase during the early years when the payments are low and inadequate to meet the entire interest payment. So a graduated payment mortgage is designed to start with the homeowner owning minimum payments. Then over time, the payment amount increases. A low initial interest rate is used to qualify the buyer. This lower rate allows many who might not otherwise qualify for a home mortgage to be eligible because they can afford the low initial payments. Had the note been written at a higher interest rate, uh, these buyers may not have a qualified due to the higher monthly payments. This type of mortgage payment system may be optimal for the young or first-time homeowners as their income levels tend to rise gradually. Alright, this is all about different type of mortgages uh, based on the interest rate. Alright, so there are like you know different type of mortgages based on the special type. Alright, let's learn about what are those different uh, special types. 
First one is bridge loans. So borrowers who can uh, uh, who plan to take a new home before selling their current one can go in for a bridge loan to span the gap between the two transactions. So bridge loans can either be structured to completely pay off the old home's mortgage or to add the financial obligation of the new home to the existing mortgage. Typically, the loan is structured with a short term, often one year, and hefty prepaid insurance, sorry, hefty prepaid, uh, uh, prepaid uh, interest, perhaps uh, uh, six months worth of interest, okay? Most often, a bridge loan is used to pay off the existing mortgage with a reminder, minus closing cost and the prepaid interest, you know, going toward the down payment of the new home. If after six months, the old home has not sold, the borrower begins making the interest only payments on that loan. When the home sells, the bridge loan is paid off. So if it sells within the first six months, any unearned interest payments will be credited to the borrower. All right, what is piggyback loan or 80 uh, by 20, 10 by 10? So when the mortgage amount is more than 80% of the purchase price of the home, lenders require the borrowers to take the insurance on the extra amount. It is called PMI, Private Mortgage Insurance, and the borrower pays for the premium. The cost varies, but it can be equivalent of an additional half to 1% of the loan amount per year. Furthermore, this cost is no tax deductible. With the 80-10-10 financing, the borrowers make a cash down payment of 10% of the purchase price. They take out the two mortgages, a new first mortgage for the 80% of the price and 10% of the second mortgage. Often, the first and the second mortgages are from the same lender. The interest rate on the second mortgage will be about 2% higher than the going you know, rate on the first mortgages. This allows the borrowers to save money spent on the PMI. All right, let's learn about reverse mortgages reverse mortgages reverse mortgages pay money to the borrower as long as the borrower lives in his or her home these loans are designed for the people aged 62 and above who own their homes and need an inflow of the cash the loan is against the equity of the loan and is not paid off until the borrower sells or moves out of this home the payment can be single lump sum regular monthly payment or as a credit line accounts that lets the borrower decide when and how much of the available cash is paid. Against this, the lender gets an equivalent amount of equity in the home, which they can claim once the home is liquidated after the borrower does or moves away. All types of conventional and government loans are available with the ERM options. So this is about uh, the reverse mortgages. So we have learned about what are the different type of mortgages based on the guarantee, based on the interest rates, and based on different uh, special types. So I have touched based only on the basics of these things since it is uh, this particular uh, lecture or the module is uh, uh, learning mortgage basics. We are going to talk about these things in detail in the later sessions. I hope you enjoyed this session. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.